Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is a for a true beginner. Over the last several weeks, I've had several people comment on my YouTube channel where they should start with my videos, and do I have anyone, any videos for true beginners? And I do, but I thought I'm gonna start a new series and answer some of those questions. So the first part of this series is gonna be about your toolbars. There are basically five toolbars. Your top one is right up here, it's called the menu bar. It's got a lot of the same things that you can do down here with your, in your standard toolbar. This is your standard toolbar. The next one is your property bar, which is this one. And kind of the reason it's called property bars is because right now I have nothing selected, so I've got my nudge distance, and we're gonna go over there in the next couple of videos and talk about nudge distance and duplicate distance. But if you select on a rectangle, you get the rectangle property bar. The next one with nothing selected would be your toolbar. Your toolbar are these tools along the left side of your workspace. Then the last one is the status bar, which I find very helpful. Right now, there's nothing in the status bar, but if I click on the rectangle, it tells me I've got a rectangle in one layer. If I click on a text, I've got artistic text impact normal on layer one. So this kind of gives you a status of what you've clicked on. And this is very helpful if you've got, let's make a duplicate of that and make one of them black. So I've got a rectangle and I've got another rectangle. And we're gonna show in next videos that you can actually find out which one you're clicked on by color by using a docker. So stay tuned for other parts. And this is Corel Draw for the true beginner. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.